The Cuban Missile Crisis was between the Soviet Union and the United States in 1962. It was 13 days long and was the closest to a nuclear warfare the world has ever come to. American spies found out that Russia's, Russians had sent missiles capable of holding nuclear warheads into Cuba. The Soviet Union sent it to Cuba specifically to avoid future harassment. This crisis had a major effect on people. America didn't realize how vulnerable they were till the, to a nuclear disaster until their president, John F. Kennedy, went on TV to announce it. Everyone reacted in numerous ways. Some hid in their basements or backyards. Some searched for survival supplies for bomb shelters. Others sent telegrams to Washington, D.C., aggressively ordering their leaders to fix the crisis. People all reacted differently, but they all reacted with the same feeling, fear. Many things changed after the missile crisis. For example, the Soviet Union leader fell from power around two years after the event. The missile crisis was an important event to remember. It resulted in a withdrawal of the Soviet Union's nuclear missiles from Cuba and a withdrawal of the American nuclear missiles from Turkey and Italy. There was, a, there was an argument placed between the Soviet Union and the United States that states the U.S. would never invade Cuba without direct provocation. The Soviet Union had to publicly dismantle their weapons and return them to their original origins. The United States did as well, but the public did not know about it. The Cuban Missile Crisis affected us today because the Soviet Soviets revealed they had 98 smaller nuclear weapons and were ready to attack thousands of U.S. troops and John F. if John F. Kennedy authorized an invasion. Shockingly, many people were public pushing John F. Kennedy to invade, too. The main things we take from the revealing today is how to handle the crisis. We used our history and war to deal with Iran, Syria, and North Korea.